It's not every day that a Washington Redskin shows up at your school with a $5,000 check. But then it's not every school that wins the Redskins Draft Day Dash, a 5K run run by the team's charitable foundation. For outnumbering everyone else with over 100 entrants, Judy Hoyer Montessori School scored a triple A in the triple D, a big fat check, and a visit from linebacker Houston Bates, who created quite a sensation. How are y'all doing today? Yeah. Well, it makes me so proud to see you guys doing what you're doing. The draft day challenge, the block day, out there killing it, doing your thing, staying in school. To underline the link between healthy bodies and healthy minds, linebacker Bates led the students in vigorous rounds of jumping jacks before heading off to classrooms to sign autographs and meet the little girl who made his visit possible. She's the reason behind this all. Really? I wouldn't have done this without her. That's awesome. Thank you, Joe. And while organizer Olivia Walton, who had specific ideas on how to spend that $5,000. More art supplies and uh, uh, gym equipment to is a huge Redskin fan, her mother emphatically is not. Apparently you're not a big Redskins fan. Who do you like? Uh, Dallas Cowboys. Oh my but goodness. This, this is all about my, uh, my daughter Olivia is a huge <laughs> Redskins fan. We don't know how she got that way because <laughs> dad's a 49ers fan. So um, this was all about her. Mrs. Walton's disloyalty notwithstanding, Houston Bates couldn't have been happier. The kids were taking a break from computers, getting active, and referencing what he'd done at Ardmore Elementary just the week before, grabbing a book or two along the way. Warms my heart, you know, to see these kids interested and active and wanting to wanting to be contributed to, um, you know, being the active lifestyle and eating right and reading last week. Uh, there's hope. There's definitely hope for the future, big time. Yes, Houston Bates and his even bigger Redskin colleague, Harry Quanjo, double teamed Prince George's schools with a visit to Ardmore to crown them the Redskin reading champions. For beating out 54 other schools across the DMV, Ardmore got a Redskins read book fair and a raucous pep rally featuring, count them, two Redskins, two Redskins cheerleaders, and one very big red dog named Clifford. It all made the crowd go wild. Ardmore Elementary School, stand up. How, how we doing? As great a payoff as all those VIPs were, was a $7 voucher for each student to buy a book of their very own at the in-school Scholastic Book Fair, a purchase meant to curtail the dreaded summer slide. Have you ever heard of the summer slide? Uh, you're not going to find the summer slide on a playground. The summer slide is when you get home and begin your summer vacation and you throw your backpack in the closet and you decide, I don't need to think about school, I don't need to think about reading, and then your brain starts to get real tired, and then it gets a little mushy, and then your reading level starts to drop. So this program started in September with the fourth and fifth grade students. So every month, those students are identifying a book in their classroom and completing monthly prompts and activities to increase their literacy as well as their spelling and vocabulary. And this program really came in collaboration with our school district partners as a way to bring excitement to reading and to encourage kids that reading is fun and reading is cool and their favorite celebrities, you know, Clifford the Big Red Dog to these Redskins players coming today, they believe in these kids and they want them to read and succeed. Houston Bates, who admitted that as a kid he liked movies better than books, now endorses the printed page over the silver screen. 
Did you ever watch a movie and then read the book afterwards? I did, actually. I did. Um, My Side of the Mountain uh, was one that I can remember. Um, great, great movie. I loved it. Yeah. Read the book. The book was even better. So that's <laughs> what I'm trying to teach these kids. The movie's great and all. I know yeah. it, but it lasts only so so long. But a book, you can get so much more out of it. The vocabulary, you know, the, the new thoughts that it brings, and, and it just lasts a lot, lot. It's more fulfilling. With that kind of endorsement and every kind of book from coloring to comic there for the taking, the students couldn't have been more excited. Not even the boys, who one teacher pegged as often being reluctant readers. Most especially the boys. Yes, and I see that they love reading graphic novels, so I try to build that collection here in our library. And this year I have a spike of reading uh, rates with the boys who don't like to read. Wow. Are you a big fan of reading? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what book did you get? I got DC Comics Secret Hero Society Study Hall of Justice. Wow, wow. What kind of book is this? This is a comic book, graphic novel. And, um, well, I, since I'm so interested in comic books because superheroes, like I grew up loving superheroes, especially Superman, because he can fly, he has all these superpowers. It always thought in my dreams, I was like, one day I'm going to be like Superman, change the world. So I'm going to keep on reading and following my dreams to achieve that. So superheroes on the page and superheroes in person. Touchdowns by any measure for the students at Ardmore and Judy Hoyer. This is Dave Zimmerman.